Tracked 4D constantly scans for new threats in your neighborhood, alerting you faster than ever when severe storms are heading your way. So did you say that this Ernesto is supposed to be a major hurricane? Yeah. Potential wow. for it becoming Category 3, and we'll know more here in just about the next 10 minutes or so. We might even have the updates already come through. Um, the models have shown that and almost since the beginning. National Hurricane Center was a little late to come to it. Some of them weren't there, and they're still favoring a little bit more to the western side of some of the other models, but we'll see if there's any more of those shifts, which wouldn't be bad news. I'd like to see it a little bit farther away from Bermuda versus that glancing blow with the stronger side over Bermuda. Let me show you what's going on here locally. There's the cold front. Pleasant changes coming in behind it. No, it's not going to be jacket weather cold as the frontal boundary drapes through. It'll keep us under that chance for some showers, not only here for tonight, but for tomorrow. And let's see next update. So we got the 11 o'clock. Look at that right on time. 16 miles an hour. So let's see what we have here. It kept it at 80 miles an hour, but the barometric pressure is down just a little bit. Still showing category three and I'll get these uh, boxes squared away here just a little bit better. But this is showing Friday at 8 p.m. This would be Saturday at 8 a.m., 8 p.m., and then into Sunday. But it is still putting that Category 2, and you can see it's actually got Friday here at 8, and now Saturday at what would be, this is 8 p.m., so this would be 8 a.m., and then that's 8 p.m. On, on Saturday. So we're talking, you know, on the screen, depending on how big your TV is, it could be as little as an inch. But the point is, it still shows the slowdown, the shear, as well as is that drier air kind of making it hit the brakes over top of Bermuda for what could lead to heavy rainfall. Meanwhile, here at home, while we have some calm conditions and light wind in the inland areas, we'll start to feel that northeasterly flow picking up, and this is going to be the pinch coming in as that frontal boundary sinks south. And even here within the last couple of hours, we've had some wind gusts actually for this map, for this particular map within the last hour. We've had some 20 mile an hour gust and then getting into the teens here at the airport, St. Augustine and southward, and these will continue to pick up. Also continuing is the flooding along the area rivers, whether it's the St. Mary, a large swath of the Santa Fe and the Suwannee as we continue here between north of I-10 and then heading south from I-10 and then off to the west. We're still looking for the purple colors here and that's where we get into major, but we have some that are still moderate along the Santa Fe as well as the St. Mary's and the Suwannee. These are the ones that we're watching. The Wording was yesterday that potentially tomorrow we could see some of these that are in red turning purple as we'll get to those major flood stages. It's still wreaking some havoc in and along those areas, homes, properties, as well as some of the roads and boat docks, things like that that have been closed down, just completely unusable right now. A little bit of a breeze coming out here. So we've got that east and northeast wind at 16, showing that 85 would feel like 87 degrees. It is pretty humid at 80%. For your Thursday forecast, a little bit cooler, just a tad here, a few of the those showers that will continue through about 3 to 6 p.m. and breezy conditions. Meanwhile, sunny, hot, and some waves coming through this weekend thanks to Ernesto. And I showed a different version, same idea, and it's actually the different um, model set here. What keeps in in line here between the two models will be our temperatures in the 70s, then climbing into the 80s. Same temperature here, just shy of the 90s. There's the spotty chance for showers. It's only 20% as the front comes through. There's three o'clock, so this one's maybe a little bit faster than the other as it shows those showers moving out. Still has some lingering ones there, I-75 there through six o'clock. And then our clouds will start to move out, and this sets up what will be some sunnier days and temperatures just below our seasonal trend. Mid-70s kicking off that Thursday morning forecast with that 20% winding things down. Now late Sunday, 10% will build to a 30% chance and that'll set the base here for Monday, getting back to the work week and a chance for some showers. But if you're heading out for the game this weekend, looks like we'll have temperatures at kickoff about 85 degrees and during tailgate time only topping out in the upper 80s. You get the downtown effect that'll put you into those lower 90s with Sunday's forecast a little bit warmer. And then the work week, like we mentioned, here comes the chance for those showers.